This is the Stern engine. Stern stands for Static Test of an Expansion Deflection Rocket Nozzle. Static, that means it's always fixed to the ground and doesn't fly. The reason why a static test is useful, it means we can bring instrumentation to the system much more simply than on a flight test, amongst other various other advantages. The purpose of the Stern was to uh, test statically an expansion deflection rocket nozzle. An expansion deflection is different from a conventional rocket nozzle in that it has a central body which allows the atmosphere to penetrate up the engine, affecting the flow along the walls of the contour. What that does is it produces something called altitude compensation, whereby the effective area ratio of the nozzle varies through flight, so it's always, in theory at least, ideally expanded uh, to the local atmospheric pressure. I've been working on these nozzles for about 10 years, and as you would expect, the, the reality of the situation is much more complex, and the purpose of this engine was to give us a lot of experimental numbers and detail on how the flow behaves, when it's particularly with respect to relatively small changes deep inside the nozzle in the throat region that can cause quite significant changes to the performance of the whole system. We've had a long-standing interest in expansion deflection nozzles at reaction engines, uh, mainly because we want the extra performance that they could provide. The advantage of the ED nozzle is that it would shorten the takeoff run of the vehicle and also add to the payload. We could save possibly over half a kilometre on the runway length and maybe uh, approximately an extra half a tonne into low Earth orbit. At a conference back in 2007, uh, we sat down with Neil Taylor at the University of Bristol, who we've worked with for a very long time, and also Airborne Engineering. And the nature of the discussion was to try to get some experimental results into ED nozzles by building and testing a hot firing engine. At Reaction Engines, we did all the work on the ignition system and the injector, and uh, came up with a complete design for what eventually became the Stern engine. Airborne Engineering put together the test site and eventually did the testing. It was an extremely successful program. We went from the standing start at the conference in 2007 to the first test firing in about 10 months and were able to present the results of the initial part of the program at the conference in 2008. While the Stern engine was under construction at Reaction Engines, we at Airborne Engineering were providing a facility to test it. The test facility was located at a former Cold War nuclear bunker. This provided a convenient concrete emplacement for mounting the engine chamber itself. Next to the engine test facility, we built a propellant supply area to locate the air and hydrogen propellant tanks. The propellants were sent to an injector element mounted on a load cell. Inside the nuclear facility, we had a control room set up where we could safely record the video and all the data from the load cells, pressure sensors, temperatures, etc. The very first firing of the Stern engine was carried out in March 2008. Over the scope of the project, a total of 26 firings were made. The follow-on to the Stern project, that is the Strict engine, will be test-fired at Airborne Engineering's new facility at Westcott Venture Park, and I'm currently standing in the J2 test bay where that engine will be fired. That was exciting.